Good afternoon, I am the Gentleman or welcome to the Gentleman's Pixel Club. Today we are going to play Defender. Hope you got the idea that it was going to be Defender, you saw it on the title screen, couldn't have made it any bigger today in the letters, but before we do that I need to give a huge thanks out to two people. The first is John. John is a member at Desert Island Fruits, a site that I look after and he knew that I was doing this channel, there was a thread over there as well. Out of the blue he sent me a PM with a couple of logos and you can see one of the logos or one of the versions there. Thank you for doing this completely off his own back, no cost, nothing like that. Here you go, you may like what I've done and I absolutely do. So you see this logo, that little indent that we've got there and you're also going to see that appear on the title page at the end of the video. Another call out is Degsy. Degsy runs a wonderful fruit machine channel on YouTube. The link will be below in the description so you can check that out for yourself. He did a brilliant opening to send a few people uh, this way yesterday. You know, it was a good two, three minutes on the tail end of one of his videos. And, you know, I want to say really thank you very much. It means so much that you did this. You know, I've had a few people sign up for this site and you know absolutely brilliant thank you for doing that such kind words known you for many years mate but you know really appreciated what you did you didn't have to do it but again thank you very much for anybody that is new to the channel um, this is a, a retro channel where we do retro gaming the market I know is hugely congested for this all I'm looking to do is make my little piece of the internet that I can share with you where you can watch a guy like me fail miserably mostly at video games but sometimes I succeed and you know a little bit of commentary a little bit of fun as we go you know none of this is to be taken too seriously in terms of it's never going to change the world or anything else like that I do have a Twitter account that's associated with this so you know uh, a follow on there you know wouldn't go amiss you know a follow on this video if you're new here again wouldn't go amiss but only if you think I've earned your time and you know I've earned your respect for actually doing this you know this is as i say fun for me i have some health problems at the moment that i'm working through so i'm using making these videos as a diversion as a i suppose a hobby no no it is it is an actual hobby to carry on through to give me something to take my mind off stuff that is generally bothering me and that I, I need to be dealing with um i'm not dying or anything else like that it's just you know there are some problems that need to be fixed i will be continuing this channel long after those problems are fixed and you know i've really enjoyed what i've done so far you know i've played games that i didn't think i would play up until the point you know of this particular video here because i knew i was going to play defender and why did i know i was going to play defender defender was a challenge on the forum that was given to me by a gentleman back then called big j now known as zippy he said it's going to be a hard game to play so i figure why not play it let's get on to this this is Defender by Williams. Um, when I first saw the screen there, I, for a moment I thought that said Electronic Arts, but no, that's that's not the period of Electronic Arts. And more importantly, you will notice Jack Bauer on the left. This is the Damn It counter. So damn it every time I lose a game, which sometimes happens a lot. We're going to do something a little bit different here. And my challenge to you, my request to you, is before watching the whole video right now, Put the number of goes that you think it is going to take me to achieve a high score that can go on the high score table. I've not played Defender for, oh, must be 30 years now, maybe even more. So, you know, I'm not particularly good at this. I'm not particularly good at many games, but this one in particular, I'm not particularly good at. So, you know, put it in the comments below how long you think it's going to be before I actually get on the high score table. Um, you know, we will see how this plays out. I do get on the high score table, um, but we're now on game two. So effectively, if I do it on this game, you think it's this game, right two down there. So when did I first see Defender? It would have been all those years ago in somewhere known as the British Airways uh, Community Centre. My parents worked for British Airways at the time, and there was this clubhouse next to the, the estate where we lived. Um, this was in Cranford, and they used, it, was just, it used to be members only. It was a cheap bar or everything else like that. Um, but as kids, we had membership of this because our parents were part of British Airways. So, you know, we used to pop into there um, all the time, hang about in school holidays, that kind of thing. And they had arcade machines. You know, you might have heard me mention on other videos my love for Rally X. 
but it actually comes from there. I mean, there's a horrible story wrapped in around that, how I got myself into some difficulties with friends of borrowing money that I couldn't pay back to play Rally X. But, you know, this is where I had my first encounter for these games. You know, my parents hated me playing arcade machines. It was always forbidden. No, 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 you must not do this. And the 10 piece for food often seemed to fall into these machines. But hey, I love them. And, you know, there was this, there was Mooncrester, that was there, there was Battlezone. Um, and, and this was situated next to the Battlezone machine. Battlezone was okay, I quite like Battlezone. But this, the, 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 this was just a real, real bastard game. It really was, and I, I was not good at it. Um, I didn't have the vocabulary that I have now, but back then I would be saying, you know what, you needed the, the arms of an octopus to be able to successfully, successfully play this correctly. I am playing it today on the Mr. FPJ, and we're on our third credit so far, so the third damn it has already happened. And, you know, this is hardware accurate emulation of the physical boards on an FPA chip, FPGA chip. So you really do play the game that you're, you know, you would experience back then. And, you know, my ability has certainly got nowhere better with this. Um, you look at me playing at the moment, you know, the ship is badly juddering left and right. You know, I'm using the smart bombs bombs as much as possible to try and get rid of the few enemies that are around me. And my lack of control is really true here i'm not playing this badly to make the video longer um i've done a video on a spectrum game that is going to be uploaded in the near future it took probably an hour to do this um because i was trying to get it right first time and it was a game again that i hadn't played for many years but i was able to get through it with only effectively one restart and it wasn't a restart it's just when the counter gets to a certain point and you know if you die or get eaten by something you then carry on and the counter carries on ticking down so you know I want to do videos that are more than just the opening level but it's tied into my ability but you know look, look at me play here yeah there is no confidence in what I'm doing you know I'm going to try and kill that one at the top and know that's changed to something else and you know, all they seem to do is get more vicious. Um, when I'm trying to avoid them, I fly into the ships that you're seeing now. You know, gameplay is particularly bad. You know, I'm the person that should not be flying uh, this ship because, you know, I, I'm a magnet for death. You know, any pro game player would look at this and say, hmm, you know, you've spent all your lives trying to get 900 points you know, you catch a little guy there, you manage to drop him on the ground, but you know what, it's a minor miracle you did that, because you are going to likely be dead any moment now. So hyperspace away, hyperspace away again, and this is the dead any moment now. For some reason, when you do two hyperspaces, you get dead. You know, I, I just don't understand this. Um, so, you know, another damn it on the screen. So we are up to five so far. My skill isn't particularly improving. And up until this point, I think I've probably, well, I just reversed into a bloody alien there. Um, but prior to this, you know, I'm probably a third of the way of the points that I actually need to be able to get on the high score board and end this nightmare. What isn't known is, and won't be shown here, is when I finished recording this video finished doing this video um and got on the high school board i actually thought let's go for a second time i have skills i am good at this now um as you see i don't have skills by that but it took me i suppose another 30 minutes of playing before i gave up i never made it on there a second time you know the the ability that i show it's just crazily shit at this moment. You know, I, I will, and that little green ship there, that little green ship that you saw get me there. What the hell is that? And why do they come from? They can see I have got enough difficulty trying to beat, what's that? Uh, 6,010 points. They can see I've got enough difficulty trying to do that. And they throw these little rectangle type ships that look like they belong to the top of a Space Invaders screen, mid screen for me to hit. It is just not fair, you know, there is no sympathy from this bloody game whatsoever. So I'm just going to watch for a moment and, you know, let's see how this plays out till we get to, you know, the high, uh, well, reverse again, but the high score or the next damn it where we have to try again.
damn it, there we are again. Seven goes, my seventh go to try and get onto the high score table. That was looking fairly promising, that level. And when playing it, I thought when I was at the 4,000 points, you know what, this is absolutely going to be the one. You know, I see progress. I was dancing about, you know, with the aliens a little bit, you know, maneuvering around them and, and not getting killed, you know, straight away. But it, it, it didn't last long. And, you know, for me, I, I think it's the ability of, you know, trying to control the ship well you know trying to watch what's going on the screen at the same time and i don't have a bad control pad this is what i'm using to play excuse the rummaging and everything else like that this is my weapon of choice this should allow me to play the game well you know it has all the buttons you could hope for um it is a lovely piece of kit you know it feels like an arcade machine when you're playing it as well and you know i did especially get this purely for the mister but you know it hasn't helped my abilities you know you you have to be so and, and why does it do that why does that red thing kill me the way that it does there you know i i, I nearly five thousand points nearly on the high score table but no we're going to kill you early but yeah going back to the buttons you know there's buttons on there um when you when you set up a mr game you define what buttons you want to play and one of them was reverse the reverse button you know seemed to do nothing for me so effectively i'm using up down and thrust and a little bit of left right fire hyperspace you know i've kind of almost given up on because that just seems to get me killed um and you know the the, the bullets are just a magnet towards me yet yeah, these games you know credit to anybody that you know uh, were the national champions on and things like this you know there was a gentleman called billy mitchell who did a lot of pac-man scores a lot of donkey kong scores there was a lot of controversy around stuff that happened a couple of years ago where his scores were wiped from a uh, high score table but you know he proved that you know he had done nothing wrong here and you know he even had his records from the guinness book of records removed and there was a thorough investigation and he had them put back and they were reinstated so you know all the naysayers all the doubters this professional gamer of someone that is probably about my age um you know basically gave the middle finger to everybody and said hey i'm right you're wrong so you know hats off to the man for that when the whole world seemed to be against him at one point but you know more importantly yeah you know, this guy's skills you know he plays games like you know and, and this gets me here sorry to interrupt this gets me here what the hell happened why did i jump into that effectively deep space for no reason that i can fathom here it, it just makes no sense to me at all and now we're obviously on Kiefer Sutherland's damn it nine um you know we really want to be getting somewhere in the near future those of you that thought it would be you know less than nine well i'm sorry you lose you know let's see what happens going forward but yeah no billy mitchell great great skills you know you should watch this game if you want to see how video games are meant to be played you know when he does the videos of donkey kong when he's the videos of pac-man this guy can actually get to the kill screen on pac-man where it's half corrupted half broken and you know be really really successful at what he does i will never have those skills but you know i will make an effort to play better you know, some people will say this is a lovely game. You know, at this point, I was sick to the back teeth of it. You know, it was like, Jesus, how harder can this be? You know, how bad do I have to be before something has sympathy on me? And, and there's, a, there's that little green bastard again from Space Invaders that takes me out to the 10th, damn it. So, picking up from the 10th, damn it, you might have noticed a slight fade there because there was an interruption with outside life. They just simply got in the way of doing this recording and we are back to see how well i do now you know the little green bastard killed me the last game and you know I, i've uh, look at look at this that looks like it was another double hyperspace that just sent me into oblivion you know i need arcade games that have basically got four directions and a fire button but perhaps not even that you know frogger is clearly the optimal arcade game for me to be playing because all i have to do is cross a road and cross a river you know up down left right how hard can it be you know th 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 this is just 
hell on earth it really really is as I said earlier on in the video I did carry on playing for another 30 minutes to see what once I did the, the task here to see whether I could actually get uh, and here we are dead again to see whether I could get another high score and I just simply could not my gameplay was getting worse and that guy we've got on the screen they just do not stop you know they're like angry bloody bees so damn it 11 let's see what we can do now At this point I'm trying to play a little bit cautiously, a little bit you know, clever, you know, it's not easy, like just in front of me there I've got the missile that you know didn't hit me, I've managed to shoot to one of the people I'm meant to be saving here, um, shot one, they just died again, you know, it just goes from bad to worse. There was a bit of luck there as I flew kind of into an alien as I hit fire and survived. And what was that all about? What what the hell killed me then? But look at this, a couple of smart bombs and I think I'm about to hit the high score. I think it was 6,050 and 6,700 is on the table. We have finally done it, 11 damage it took, but you know what, considering how hard this game was when I first played it and I first started doing it, my mind is we we're probably going to go to like 90, you know, we'd have been here all night, this would have been the longest stream, I think YouTube has a 10 hour stream and I would have probably just blown that doing this, but anyway, entering the initials of myself here, the Gentleman's Pixel Club, you know, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Feel free to give it a like, subscribe, you know, if you're not a subscriber and you're enjoying the content. Look at me being today's greatest and the all-time greatest, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much and goodbye. I first saw Defender. Ah, damn the door.